Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, it's just going to be a really chill and relaxing work with me. Well, hopefully it's going to be a relaxing work with me. Um, but I'm just going to prep some orders for tomorrow and then I will see you guys tomorrow too and show you all the orders that I get done um, and shipped out by tomorrow. So tonight I'm really just going to focus on just prepping all the HTV for all my t-shirt orders that I have that require HTV. So I'm going to cut out some of that using my Cricut Maker and maybe sew a pair of bell bottoms and then whatever else I don't get done I'll work on tomorrow. So I have probably the most orders that I've had in a very very long time. I think I have 15 open orders. I haven't had 15 open orders in quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to be spending the next few days just busting all these orders out and um, so let's just go ahead and dive in. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to try and work on tonight. So these are all the orders that I had currently have open. Some of the orders I don't have t-shirts for, like for this one I need to order some navy shirts. I haven't had any shirt orders for any navy colors for kids at least for quite a bit. So I'm actually all out of navy so I need to order some shirts for that. But um, let's look at what I want to try and work on tonight. Tonight I want to try and work on these lemon bell bottoms. Um, so if you follow me on my Facebook group, you'll know that I bought like the last bolt of this and I had to drive like an hour away to go pick it up um, because everywhere locally was sold out and it's sold out online too so I can't even have it shipped to me. But there was a place or there was a Joann's that's about an hour away from where I live and they had about seven yards left so I went there and just snagged whatever I could because this is a summer fabric so it's they're not going to restock it but just in case someone orders another pair of bell bottoms I'll have it in stock and if not I'll have it in stock for next year just in case they don't restock this this specific print so I have these bell bottoms and the shirt I'll probably do tomorrow I have a pug blanket that I need to work on but I'm not in the mood to do any embroidery, but I have a bunch of those rainbow HTV shirts that I need to do, so I'm going to bust out a bunch of those. I have one, two that I could start tonight. I'm going to set those over there. I have a few shirts that I need to make for a birthday set for a family. It's one of my monster themed shirts, so I have this. So I'll probably cut this out tonight too. I also have a monster truck one which will be pretty simple so I'll probably just do that one too. Um, then I have two more rainbow shirts so I figure because I'm doing all that I'll just bust out all my rainbow shirts tonight, get that monster truck one cut out and then all the monster the green monster themed ones, I'll get those cut out tonight too. So I'm just gonna specifically focus on my HTV stuff and just take it easy and then tomorrow I'll turn this bad boy on. I'll run him and my two other embroidery machines tomorrow but for right now I think I'm just gonna run my Cricut, turn on a show and just watch a show while I get these done. Oh and I also have a Nita and Thread Tease order so I'm going to work on that one tonight too, just get that one out of the way. But before we get started on that, I want to show you guys something because I'm super excited about this. If you follow me on TikTok or on Instagram, you kind of already have seen this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my new exclusive t-shirt design um, that I already have launched on my Etsy shop. I haven't uploaded it to my website yet, um, but let me show you what the design looks like. Okay, so this was my original design. Don't mind uh, the pizza grease stains. Um, my kids got a, a hold of my little sketchbook. But basically, I wanted to make like a Dagkula theme, and I spelled Dagkula wrong, wow. Um, I wanted a Dagkula theme shirt. Uh, and I wanted the vampire or whatever to have like a baby, holding a baby in one of those little carriers. I wanted some bats flying around, um, and I wanted him to wear like a red and black lumberjack type of shirt. Um, but this was my sketch that I sent to my artist, 
And this is what he was able to come up with. Thankfully, he spelled Dacula right. But look how it came out. I seriously love, love, love how this turned out. We actually have another design that's going to be releasing soon. It's going to be a dog mom themed one, so keep a lookout for that one. And then I have a whole witch theme t-shirt design that's going to be coming out soon too. But I'm so impressed with our artist and literally he is like taking my vision and making it a, re a reality, which is insane. But um, I seriously love, love this design. But I just wanted to show you guys that, but I'm going to get back to work. Okay guys, so tonight I like got the kids to bed early. I thought I was going to get a whole lot done, at least with cutting out all this vinyl done tonight. And my internet went out and my Cricut won't work basically if it's not connected to the internet because it's connected through Bluetooth and I don't know where the cord is to connect it to my laptop. So, until we can figure out how to fix the internet, um, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and sew those lemon bell bottoms and get those done and out of the way. I might just end up turning on my embroidery machine and start embroidering some stuff, but as of right now, I'm going to have to wait and put all my HTV stuff on hold. I did manage to get one of my orders cut out, so maybe I'll weed that and just go ahead and press it um, and get that t-shirt order out of the way. But I'm gonna go ahead and just keep working. Even though I just wanted to do HTV tonight, I guess I'll just go ahead and sew something. So I'm all done with the bell bottoms. Luckily the internet is back on so I can get right back to using my Cricut and cutting out all the rest of this vinyl that I have to cut out. Um, so it's back to work.
Okay guys, so I have a Nita and Thread t-shirt cutting out. I was able to get all of my rainbow shirts cut um, for the bell bottoms. Um, I still need to embroider the shirt, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because I just, again, I'm not in the mood to embroider. So I'm just going to be continuing cutting the rest of this vinyl. Um, that'll go with that shirt. And then I have some vinyl to cut for a monster truck and then a monster family pack of shirts. So after this, I'm gonna go to bed, guys. So we busted out all of the cutting of the vinyl for all these t-shirts. Bell bottoms are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it for tonight. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding all this vinyl. I'm gonna embroider that shirt out. And then I have a pug blanket that needs to go out tomorrow too. So um, we'll see if I'm able to conquer all of these orders with having a three-year-old and a two-year-old. Well, almost three-year-old and almost two-year-old. Um, so we'll see if they cooperate tomorrow and let me get some work done. If not, um, I'll only be getting out this order, one rainbow shirt order, and that pug blanket. Um, those all need to go out tomorrow. So as long as I get those three out, I am golden, but I want to try and get all of these out of the door tomorrow because I have them cut. All I have to do is weed them and press them. So let's see if I can accomplish that tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the next day. I have my baby lock and my buy and burner machine running right now. Um, let me show you what I'm working on as of right now. So I have 
myself a little lovey stitching out right now. It's one of my pug blankets. I'm not too sure if this is for a baby or not, but they wanted to put the words pugs, not drugs, <laughs> for whatever reason. But this is stitching out right now. I'm having the name go first. Then I have my little lemonade design stitching out. We're almost done with this one. And then I'm gonna get started on all my HTV orders. With Since I already have this design uploaded, I'm gonna go ahead and use some different fabric this time and do a different design, um, or just a different color scheme, I guess. I had this really cute, I have this really cute lemon fabric and you know, why not make another shirt out of it? So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run and I'm gonna continue working on orders.
I managed to get all these shirts done. Um, I still have these two that I need to do, but unfortunately, when I pulled the shirts, um, I, accident I accidentally pulled the wrong sizes. It's supposed to be zero to three months for the onesies. And I'm completely, completely out. And my AJ Blanks order doesn't come until the 24th. And then I just did a Jiffy shirts order for some Gildan onesies. And hopefully those will come on the 23rd or the 24th. But I know one of these is due to go out the 23rd and the other one's due to go out the 24th the 24th so I'm hoping that they'll get here in time um, because I need to get these done at least when the onesies do get here I have everything prepped and ready to go for those orders so those are already so the only thing that I need to do now is for all the kid items I need to add some uh, tags to them and then for the lemon bell bottoms I also need to add a hang tag and I don't have any of the hang tags printed out for that one so I need to print those out. Uh, while my Cricut is cutting out those tags, I'll start sewing these up and I'll show you guys how I do my tags for my embellished shirts. Okay, so I have my tags printed out. I'm gonna have my Cricut cut them. I printed them out on some cardstock and this is what they look like. But they should cut out pretty quickly and while these are cutting, I'm gonna start sewing those tags in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start writing out all my tags. So I keep a log of all my batch numbers onto a Google spreadsheet um, and you have to keep track of all the batch numbers so just in case you have to reference it and go back you'll be able to see what day, what items you use and all that stuff um, related to the t-shirts. But I'm going to go ahead and just start writing down these batch numbers. I have, let's see. One, two, three, four rainbow shirts that are going out today. So since those are all the same type of shirts, made of the same materials, I'm gonna give them all the same batch number. And for these, I just use, for my unique code for these, I just use um, the letters RSS. Those represent rainbow sister shirts, and then I just do the date. And because, again, these are all the same shirt, um, I can give them all the same batch number. And then I'm gonna go ahead and log it. And then when I log it, basically I just write down the date, the batch number, and then all the different sizes that I used. Okay, so I have the tags ready for the rainbow shirts. Now I need to make a tag for this one. Now this is a new shirt that I haven't made yet. This was my first one, so I'm gonna have to give this a new, unique batch number. Okay, so for this code, I came up with a um, pink lemonade shirt. So I'm gonna do P, L, S, and then the date. So that's going to be for the lemonade shirt. And then for the monster truck one, I already have a unique code for this one. So I'm going to use the same one for that, just switch out the date. And then for the monster one, I already have a unique code for that one, so I just need to switch out the date. Okay, so I have all my tags all written out. I do like to keep all my little tags um, because I, all, I have the same care options for all my items. Um, I just have different like materials that I use so if I if it requires a hang tag or if it requires materials I just do a hang tag and then for everything else I just use these little tags because I all have the same care options for all my items basically so now all I have to do is take this all I have to do now is take these and my shirts over to my sewing machine and sew on to the sew the tags on and then I like to sew my tags on to the side seams of the shirt. I really don't like adding it to the collar because there's just not a good space for them. So um, I'm not going to add it over here. I'm going to add it on the side of my shirts. And just 
just like that. I just add them to the bottom portion of the side of the shirt. There's one down. Now, this does like totally add like an extra step to your work day, which kind of sucks. So you kind of have to make sure and plan out this step. One thing that you could do to kind of help speed up this process is to have your tags already made and logged and put, put them in those little plastic sleeves like I have. And when you get ready to make the shirt, you'll have it ready to go. I actually have been finding adding tags and logging the tags kind of relaxing. I don't know if it's just the teacher in me. Um, I just kind of like logging the information. I don't know. And it's also kind of nice too to see all the t-shirt sales that you get as well. As you can see like Gildan, they have a tag already on the side. So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my tag right over that one. But all my tags are sewn in. Um, so now I'm gonna go and trim all the threads and start packaging up these orders and just be done for the day. Um, I still have a ton of, I still have a ton of open orders and orders, I've actually already gotten four orders today, which is, insane to me and it's been I've been getting between five to six orders maybe sometimes more a day this past week I don't think I've ever had a busy week like this since I was like selling face masks at the very beginning of the pandemic but I haven't been this busy and I'm super thrilled I'm thinking now like things are starting to pick back up which makes me wanna like get more things up so I can get even more busy. So my hang tags for my lemon themed bell bottoms are all done. Pop one off for you. All right, so on my tags I have my logo, my website. I added a name to them so I just know the difference between all the tags. These are for my lemon bell bottoms and for my lemon bell bottoms they're made with 90% polyester and 10% spandex. And then I like to include meet CPSC safety requirements. Um, so you can always add your like material or whatever type of material you're using, um, fiber content, I guess you would say to like the tags. So they're permanent onto the clothing, but because I have so many different items that I offer and they're all kind of made out of different percentages of polyester, spandex, or cotton, I'm just going to print out and cut a bunch of different tags for all my different items because I feel like that'll just be more like easier and cheaper for me to be able to produce these versus me ordering a bunch of tags or me making a bunch of different type of satin tags that are permanent. I feel like this is just easier for me just to have and I can print out and cut a bunch at one time. And then for your permanent tags for your embellished items, um, basically what you need is just um, like a logo or your business name, a website, and then um, I like to include care options and then you can, and you also have to um, state where it's made or embellished. Um, so I just said made in US with imported and domestic materials. So that's what I have on my tags. Um, I should have a video on tags out by now. If not, it's coming. It's just, it's taken me um, a quite a bit of time to plan it out because I'm like writing like detailed notes. I'm gonna have like slides and things and like images and stuff for you guys. So it's gonna be like a, hopefully a super professional looking video um, regarding tags and how to become compliant to sell kids clothing. So it's taken me a lot longer than I thought just because of all the planning and preparing to record the video. And then I'm assuming that editing the video is gonna take quite a bit of time too because these videos, just to record and film and edit one video takes me sometimes between one to two days just to, just to edit sometimes, not including the recording portion of it too. So editing videos takes me quite a bit of time. So I'm trying to get as many videos out for you guys, but now that I'm starting to pick back up, it's getting harder to have time to edit. So I'm trying to fit everything in for you guys, but I'm gonna try and just 
if I don't get that video out soon, I'll try and just add clips of things in my videos here and there. So um, this is how you do tags for embellished items. So if you're doing embroidered shirts or HTV shirts for kids, you, ha you have to include tags onto your items. So definitely go check out the website and Facebook group that I have linked down below regarding how to become compliant with kids clothing. Um, the Facebook group was an ex very, very helpful and um, on the website too, there's a bunch of ebooks that I purchased that helped um, me get all my questions answered and um, help kind of guide me on how to do everything because this is su it was super overwhelming at first. Now it's kind of like it's not too bad once you get the hang of it, but at first it was very overwhelming because there is just a ton, a ton of information and. Um, yeah, so definitely go join the Facebook group if you haven't yet, and then definitely go check out that website too. I definitely recommend um, downloading the ebook for Embellish Shirts. Um, if you do baby blankets, also download that one as well. And then if you make any type of kids' clothing, such as like bell bottoms, um, bummies, uh, rompers, things like that, definitely download the kids' clothing book as well. All that information is extremely useful. It tells you what materials are considered compliant and which materials aren't. Um, and it just gives you a breakdown of the steps on how to get everything completed and finished so you are set to go on compliancy. Uh, but here I am rambling again. But if I don't get that video out before this one, just keep a lookout. It's coming. I have all my notes prepared, all my slides prepared. Now it's just a matter of me sitting down and recording it and then the matter of editing it too. So I'm going to try and like make it fancy for you guys. I don't know how fancy it will be, but I want to make it look nice for you guys. So I want to put a lot of love into that video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. for the day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take these to the post office and just relax for the rest of the day because honestly my legs and feet are so tired from being on my feet all day. Um, so I'm definitely gonna take some time and relax and enjoy the rest of my evening. 
But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to check out that Facebook group and the website that I have linked down below. Also, if you haven't joined my Facebook group yet, definitely go join my Facebook group. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.